Dear Mr. President, I've sat me down to send you greetings from my hometown and send you best wishes from all the friends I know in Texas, Alabama, and Ohio, and unaffiliated. I'm an ordinary guy. I work most of my life. Sometime I'll settle down with my kids and wife. And I like to see a movie or take a little drink. And I like being free to say what I think. Sort of runs in the family. My grandpa crossed the ocean for the same reason. Now, I he hit run, I can tell you why. He caused lots of good folks to suffer and die. He got away. Shoving folks around, I figure it's about time we slapped him down. Give him a dose of his own medicine. Lead poison. Now, Mr. President, we haven't always agreed in the past, I know, but that ain't at all important now. What is important is what we got to do. We got to lick Mr. Hitler, and until we do, other things can wait. In other words, first we got our skunk to skin. War means overtime and higher prices. If we were all willing to make sacrifices, hell, it even stop fighting with my mother-in-law, because we need her, too, to win the war. Old battle act. Now, as I think of our great land with its cities and towns and farming land, with so many good people working every day, I know it ain't terrific, but it will be someday. Just give us a little time. This is the reason that I want to fight, not because everything's perfect or everything's right. No, it's just the opposite. I'm fighting because I want a better America and better laws and better homes and jobs and schools and no more Jim Crow and no more rules like you can't ride on this train because you're a Negro. You can't live here because you're a Jew. You can't work here because you're a union man. Then the line keeps running through my head. I think it was something Joe Lewis once said. That there's lots of things wrong, but Hitler won't help him. Now, Mr. President, your commander-in-chief of our armed forces, the ships and the planes and the tanks and the horses, I guess you know best just where I can fight. Boy, I want to be situated right to do the most damage. I never was one to try and shirk and let the other fellow do all of the work. So when the time comes, I'll be on hand, and I can make good use of these two hands. Quit playing this banjo around with the boys and exchange it for something that makes more noise. So, Mr. President, we got this one big job to do, that lick Mr. Hitler, and when we're through, let no one else ever take his place to trample down the human race. So what I want is you to give me a gun so we can hurry up and get the job done. Oh, <laughs>